Hello and welcome to Finbar Builds. Um, I decided finally to start a series where I, I build stuff in Minecraft because I love creating things. Um, I've, I took a lot of creative subjects for my A levels and for my GCCs like technology and I love graphic design and all that kind of stuff so I figured you know why not build some kind of massive structural thing in in Minecraft because I love this game and since I've been playing Tech It I decided you know what should I build a Tech It city um, and uh, basically what I've decided to do is create a fully functional massive city um, involving Tech It make it as futuristic looking as possible uh, and so you see here, here, see here I've mapped out sort of the walls for the outside of the city and you may be wondering what the hell is this destruction well I decided the setting for the city as it's going to be futuristic um, I'll probably set the time today it's going to be futuristic so I wanted a sort of post apocalyptic kind of city that's survived on its own in sort of the only fresh clean land left in the world so you see here there's a little village that used to probably be a town that's been blown up by nukes and war um, the whole of this area has just been obliterated I, I spat down some basalt to make it look like, like dust and destruction afterwards massive craters so this is like the dead zone and um the wall here is to sort of protect the world from mutants uh because obviously after the post-apocalyptic everyone knows like fallout 3 there's there's lots of mutants so yeah um this is what i'm going to build building today the wall so uh let's get to building the wall okay so as you can see here um i'm starting to build up the wall so uh, at the base there is red lights there um like red lamps uh, I never actually ended hooking these up in the entire video. I just I totally forgot about this. I was too distracted by the whole rest of like the scale of the wall and those side circles there, which we'll see I'll make into later. But basically, um, in in this build, I think I literally entirely use only um, materials that you can find in Tech It. Um, they're not in the vanilla game, none of them. So I think there's like stone reinforced blocks I've got there. I've got the, those grill things above the red lights. Um, I use them a lot. They look really nice. I use them like throughout the whole project. Um, so look, they jumped a little bit because I um, I let it get dark and you couldn't see anything. So the the wall is uh, basalt brick. Um, so basalt is what volcanoes are made out of, and you can obviously turn them into bricks. And here I was just sort of layering out the top of the wall, deciding what to use. And I thought um, nether brick for the corners looked looked quite nice because it, it kind of the the fence post looked like well they had gaps and it didn't look quite right. Um, so that's the gatehouse there, and um, also I used two different colours of fences, so there's um, dark metal fence and light metal fence, or light grey fence, there's loads of different colours of fence, and I found they can have some like cool effects if you lay them out like facewards, so here I'm just texturing up the wall, as you can see, because um, it's a little bit like flat otherwise, so I put some posts in every uh, three space blocks, and uh, now I started off in the tower, so when I started building the tower, I wasn't entirely sure what I wanted to do, with it, I, I just sort of started building up, not knowing quite what it was going to be. Um, so here I'm putting down machine blocks, because I, I quite like machine blocks, they've got a nice texture. And now I'm putting down a block, I, oh god, what was it even called now? It was, um, it's got a really odd name, it's like Disaster Brick or something, uh, or Death Brick, I can't remember, it's some really dark name. And here I'm I decided to create a kind of a dome, so as you can see here I'm putting down reinforced glass, and I've gone in one layer there. Um, so this is going to be sort of like a watch out tower for our city um, to protect the world, well to sort of watch out for mutants and stuff. There's also going to be like, it's like a control centre. Um, I'm going to probably put tons of computers in this area and stuff like that. All of these parts of the tech it world also that I'm going to be building are going to be fully functional. So they're going to actually have a use. They're not just going to be sitting there to look pretty. Um, they're going to have stuff inside them, they're going to be filled up, they're going to be fully functional in tech it. Um, the walls don't have as much function because, well, they're just walls. But um, uh, here you can see me putting in um, red matter blocks. <laughs> it's funny, they're worth 600,000 EMC each, so uh, don't, you don't really want to be doing that um, unless you're cheating. Because, <laughs> God, that would take you forever. Um, and there's a lot of them blocks in there. And here you see me just punch out the dirt to make the depth of this dome look better. And on top of that thing, uh, the dome, I figured I might put some, like, space or hover kind of vehicles you know so if if they do get under attack or any transport or whatever you can have like a hover vehicle on top of that um so that's what that was for so that's being built up here i'm just digging out all the dirt around it to make sure that it looks all right also i should uh point out that um i come back to this dome later and change up the insides because i didn't put any insides on this um, when I should have, I sort of just left it as a shell. Oh, and you can hear me see me putting the fence posts on. If you look on the left of your screen on the dome, you can see like the fence posts running along the edge. Um, they give it a lot of 
extra depth. I use them a lot because they, they have quite a cool effect when they're not touching the ground. They sort of float off the surface a little bit. Um, and here you can just see me building the wall up up the side of the uh, the hill face, sort of connected to the mountain. It was a little bit awkward to do because um, it just wasn't it wasn't quite level, but um, it worked out well in the end. So I was just putting down some more basalt uh, bricks, some more grates. I, the grates have such a good effect. They act as like a kind of barbed wire edging to the top of the wall, and they just make it look look a lot more menacing. I think um, I I've, I've I wanted a really menacing dark look for this whole sort of build. So here I'm just sort of building up the walls putting some more fence posts down um, that cow's having a little party down there I trap a cow later on by accident um, he gets trapped so yeah um, I don't know what the grates are used for in actual uh, tech it I think it's some kind of red power thing a pump um, so there we go and I'm putting some more fence posts along there to give it a bit more texture on the wall um, so that's what I'm doing there okay and now we're starting the second dome and this time I build it up and I sort of design the inside and sorry about the lack of the camera moving. I tried to get the uh, the cameras mod working, but I, I couldn't for the life of me get it working within like the tech it uh, mod pack. Um, I, I know it can be done, but I didn't know how. So I'm just uh, leveling out the floor in here, and there's a, a cow partying. Uh, we we trap him in there. We trap Mr. Moo <laughs> inside the uh, the dome, but that's fine. He'll be protected. He's he's our first member of staff in our futuristic city. Um, people are cows now, <laughs> apparently. Um, so I'm copying, I keep darting over to the other side to see what to do, and I'm sort of copying the uh, the other side of the dome just to make sure it's right, and then I start fleshing out the inside. Um, so yeah, this is at 12 times speed if you're wondering, so this this particular, just the wall section here, um, was 2 hours and 40 minutes worth of footage um, combined down. So yeah, <laughs> also I'm sorry about um, the uh, the lack of like the camera being in the right position. I should have changed the amount of shots like more often, but I, it, this is the first time I've done this, so I gave it a try, and I think it, it looks pretty good. So here I'm just filling in the floor, as you can see, with some more machine blocks. So this is going to be the floor where the dome sits on top of, and there's going to be like red uh, platforms inside. So I just, I think, do I build the platforms up first? I can't. No, I put lights down. I put some lighting down. So that's what I'm doing now. I'm putting some redstone lamp down, and it glows, and it looks really evil. So I've got um, red alloy wire running around the bottom. And uh, red alloy wire also glows, so it looks quite nice. It gives a cool effect. So I'm just spacing out the lamps equally here, and uh, hear the pumping music starting. I hope you like the music. Uh, Rory, Rory wrote it, or wrote. He's written quite a few songs, so I just sort of nicked them without asking him. So yeah, I'm putting the dome up now, as you can see. And um, I think I start building the platform yeah, here. So I'm measuring out the platform on the inside. It's kind of hard to see, but I changed the angle in a minute. So I'm using red nether brick steps steps in the middle. I love the colour red. Um, I just think it, it fits sort of the menacing theme, sort of like alerting people not to attack the city, kind of, if you get what I mean. So um, I didn't put enough lights across the whole wall, but I'm going to add that um, off camera later on, um, so that for next episode you can see it all glow in the dark. So there we go, we've got, we got some nice red lights on that platform. It looks it looks pretty like beastly when it's all lit up. So I'm building like um, sort of a weird shaped platform in the middle. Um, so that it can reach out to the edges so that uh, people can look out the windows. I also tried putting some computer blocks down a minute and uh, it, it crashed. I accidentally right clicked them too many times and I crash. So, not the best. Um, I think we're going to turn it. There we go. Look at that. It looks pretty good in the dark, doesn't it? So, we'll just wait for the camera angle to change. See, there I'm messing around with computers and I crash. And we'll change the camera angle from that. Um, so, you see what happens. There we go. Look at it from this angle. So, there we go. There's the platforms I put down. I, I don't know, I thought they looked really futuristic, spacey. Um, I could put some like things down in the corner of those, to, like some, some modules, computer modules, something that could do stuff. Um, but yeah, for now, I just build the roof up, and uh, later on, I'll flesh out the inside of the other tower off camera as well, to look the same as that, and I might add computer stuff inside, as I said before. So, uh, just repeating the top again now. Those red uh, matter blocks again, incredibly expensive. You can get a better shot of them now, but they look they look quite nice. And I was just working out what pattern to copy because I can't remember exactly how I did it. I kept darting back to figure out what I was going to put down, and there we go, like that. And now um, we're building out the wall again to this point, and we wanted to build up this little subsidiary tower, and I wanted this tower to look different to the other towers. Um, so. I'm just filling this in, and I'll explain what I'm doing with the tower when I get to it. Thomas, I didn't really have a plan for it, it just sort of, I just did it um, as, as I went along. The whole of this I just sort of did, I didn't really have a plan for it, I just 
saw it in my head and made it. And I think it's gone quite well, considering it's the first time I've ever sort of done anything on this scale. Um, I was literally playing for three hours straight, just making sure everything was working properly. So I think it's turned out fairly well. I'm, I'm quite happy with what I've managed to do so far. So uh, let's just see, I'm just uh, sorting the wall out here, um, copying it up the same as the other bits, so it's the same. I'm getting all the red brick there, or the, the nether brick even. I think, oh no, I lied saying I used only tech it bricks. Um, the red nether brick is in the standard game, obviously. So I'm building up the base of this and uh, using uh, basalt bricks um, and grills again. Oh, grills look so good. They, they look really awesome. And that, that death brick, I'll have to find the name of that for you next time. I'll put, I might put it in the description. So I'm putting that in and I put some uh, more reinforced windows in here. And uh, I, lay a, I put a floor of glass once. Um, so I wanted this tower to look different and I put a little uh, like sort of red brick sort of balcony over there. So here we go, we're, we're building this up. I changed my mind a few times what I want it to look like. So I put red lamps in these and I switched them all on. There we go, look at that, that looks pretty cool doesn't it? So um, more basalt bricks. So this was going to, I wanted this tower to be higher up the other one and this was going to be a proper viewing platform. So it's literally, it's only purpose was to be, to view for like danger, to spy on maybe even some townspeople. Whereas the other big domes are sort of more defense centers. I might actually put some like weapons racks and stuff in them thinking about it. I could just put like a chest full of mining lasers and stuff make it look pretty cool. So we go added more red lights. I think the red lights really do suit it. Um, this city is going to use a lot of lamps because um, obviously it's in the future and I want it to be fairly dark most of the time. So I'm going to cover everything in lamps pretty much. It looks pretty good. So here I'm building up that glass tower. Sorry it's a bit warped. I, t I turned my FOV up. So it looks, it looks pretty weird at the top like stretched out. But it means you can get sort of a better angle as here can go. And then I built a little balcony as well. So there you go. Uh, that's the tower I built. Um, so it looks very different. To, well, it looks fairly different to others. And the lights are looking good. Um, and here I'm just sort of building up the wall. At the end, I do put a lamp of the wall, but it's kind of hard to see. Um, and I'm just duplicating the wall uh, of the other section, pretty much. So, uh, God, this took me forever. Um, so yeah, I'm just going to let you enjoy the music for a minute. And I'll talk to you again when I get to... Uh, the flyover. So here we go, this is the flyover, seeing what I've built. So um, there's the, the main tall tower. Um, which is like, I, I quite like the tower, I like the design of it, I love all the tech and materials, I've barely even used like any of the blocks. There's so many cover panels and little blocks that I never got around to using yet. So I mean, I think it looks pretty decent. Um, so this is sort of the main lighthouse watchtower, I should probably have put a floor in there but I totally forgot to do that. Oh no, there is a glass floor in there actually, I think, yeah. So there we go. Um, then we've got like the two main defence hubs and I think they look really awesome zoomed out. Now thinking about it, they look pretty goddamn cool. And the, the red never brick. Um, like edging for the corner pieces and it does a little fly down to have a look at the insides glowing on the platforms so there we go so eventually that I might fill these with weaponry so it can be like a defense center where people can like uh, attack and you can and again you can see a better view of those fence posts now they, they get quite a cool texture to a lot of the side of buildings um, those like light gray fence posts so that's pretty cool um, the gatehouse we sort of do a quick flyover I kind of forgot about that I, I need to go back to that and make it look better and I also might use some of the uh, the red power mod to make the gates automatically open with a computer program. So I think that'd be pretty cool. So I wanted to see it to be fully functional. I'm here. I sort of uh, look into the cliff in a minute um, because um, next episode I intended to build a big city council. So I figured it would be really cool if it sort of fit inside like the cliff face. And the city council's got to be like a really like big part of the town or the city. I could move it to somewhere else. I don't know, but I thought it'd look really nice if I managed to like carve it out into the mountain face and sort of stick out the top of it as well. So there we go, we've got a panning shot of the uh, of the map. So um, please subscribe and like and share this around because it's been well to do and I hope you come back for the next part because I really enjoyed it. And the next part I'll use some better editing, more camera shots to get a clearer view of what I'm doing. So yeah, see ya!